Hello friends. Today we are going for a very fun activity of snow tubing at Colorado Adventure Park. First I will show you very beautiful scenic drive to Winter Park. Once we reach the park, I will give you basic snow tubing tips. After that, we will see snow tubing in action. In this trip, I took Interstate 70 west from Denver and then took the exit 232 towards Winter Park. Then I continued on a very scenic route of Highway 40. We will go through these winding roads and pass through the Berthoud Pass which is about 13,300 feet high. Now we have reached the top of the Berthoud Pass which is on the Great Continental Divide at 13,307 feet elevation. This is very beautiful route. I'm trying to do my best in limited time I have, but if you really want to experience it, you have to come yourself and see it. Now we are going downhill all the way to Winter Park area where we will soon start our snow tubing activity. Now we are passing through Winter Park area. Fraser is few minutes past Winter Park. We will turn left on CO Road 72 to go to the Tubing Hill. Now we have reached the Colorado Adventure Park where we will do the snow tubing. The ticket lines were very long. Uh, we had to wait a couple of hours um, so I advise you to get the tickets online if that is possible uh, otherwise uh, you will have to wait long time at some parks walk-ins may not be allowed so please check their website before coming now it is time for snow tubing tips Following is what you should consider wearing and bringing with you for snow tubing. Waterproof ski or snow pants, waterproof warm jacket, a warm hat, waterproof gloves, sunglasses, hiking boots or warm waterproof shoes. Most winter tubing areas using Helmet will be your decision to make for safety, but it may be mandatory at some parks for riders. You can generally rent helmets at the park if you don't own them. What you are looking at now is the Fraser Tubing Hill, that's another place for tubing next to this Colorado Adventure Park.
finally wait for me was over. I got the ticket, picked up my tube and went towards the tubing hill. So now I'm walking towards the uh, the carpet, which is like an escalator that takes you up uh, up the hill. Different difficulty levels of the hill sections are displayed uh, here. Like green color is for easy, blue is for slightly more difficult, uh, black. Uh, diamonds are more difficult or most difficult levels here. I will advise you to start with the easy one and go towards the more difficult ones as you feel comfortable. If you're coming with your family member uh, or a friend, uh, then you can also buy a double tube. Double tube is like uh, uh, has capacity of two people, uh, and it's slightly cheaper. And now it's finally time for me to go downhill. I took the most difficult one straight away because it is more fun. But you should not take it right away in the beginning if you are doing it for the first time. The black uh, slopes usually have bumps uh, or more bumps on the way. Green slopes are more smooth. So it was a lot of fun for me. I rented the tube for one hour but uh, I had option to also rent it for two hours but one hour was good enough for me today uh, once you take your one uh, slide you can go back in the line and uh, go for another ride when you purchase the ticket it has expiration time printed on it you hang that ticket to your jacket and keep taking the trips for tubing over and over again until that time is over. At the end of the time, you go back where you got the tube from and return it. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you. Please uh, don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified when I post my new video. Thank you for watching.